Ohio. Very excited about this. Heard a lot of really good things about it. It's a family-owned business. Um, been here for, I think she said around 50 years or thereabout. And this family has owned it for over 40. Yeah. Uh, so we've ordered our first appetizer. And it is Greek cauliflower. And you can see it looks good. Hmm. It's very interesting. It's a little bit tangy. It is a fried cauliflower. Uh, I think she said it was cooked in, uh, maybe sautéed in wine. I think so. It has a little know. bit of a tang to it, but it's also creamy. That is, that is pretty good. Go for it. Ooh, oh, very so cool. cool. Uh, <laughs> flaming cheese. Flaming cheese. <laughs> Before we get to my sister trying this, I just want to explain why this took so long to burn down. They put a very high proof alcohol on this cheese and I couldn't even try it. I got it up to my mouth and my nose was like, no way. It smells like straight rubbing alcohol. So I was not able to try this cheese. I don't recommend it, uh, but the, it was a lot of fun to watch it burn down. Appetizer number two. We ordered the flaming cheese, the saganaki, and I can't tell you how excited I am about this one. We sat here and watched it burn. I think we have video of that. Um, tear off a little piece of that. Okay. Oh, has a lot of alcohol on it. Oh, you can taste the alcohol? Mm -hmm. You can taste the alcohol. But it's it's really delicious. It's a nice, strong, salty cheese. Really good. <laughs> sure. And then any um, ranch yeah. or blue cheese with your wings? Did you want a drink of it? No, <laughs> blue cheese. No, you don't put sweetener in it. I ended up getting the Greek salad, which is like a dollar eighty upcharge, I think. And this is their homemade house dressing, which is supposed to be kind of like a Greek dressing. Uh, it comes with long peppers on here. It looks like what could be feta cheese, olives. It's very good. It's not too sour. It's perfectly seasoned. I, I recommend this. So I ordered the Cajun, blackened Cajun platter and uh, mine came, I ordered the salad with it. I uh, didn't venture out of my safe zone. I only got the uh, ranch dressing, which she did say that they don't make, but the salad looks wonderful. That's a nice salad dressing, even though they don't make it. It's a little, um, a little bit sweet, but also it has some nice herbs in it. So, pretty good. Yeah. Gonna Jumbo start. wings, Cajun, and then it's a double baked potato. So this uh, wings look really good. And then this they is, smell uh, amazing. Blue cheese. Okay. Mm. Mm. Really good. Yummy, yummy. Mm. Let's see what this uh, jumbo baked potato is all about. So this is like a this is like a twice baked potato, right? Yeah, twice baked potato. They scooped that potato out, mashed it, put seasonings in it, put it back in the potato, season it again, and put it underneath the broiler. Okay, what, good. what do you think about the wings? Are they spicy? Oh, yeah, or do you have any spice? It's, oh, yeah, yeah, it's Cajun spicy. Okay. Really, really good. Mom ordered the baked scrod, and she ordered the twice baked potato yeah. and these Brussels sprouts. They shred them, they soak them in wine and vinegar, and I forget what all she said, but it sounded good. That's worth the trip here. That's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is her squad. And I don't know what seasoning she has on it, but 
It's, I think it's just their most plain seasoning, but it's nice, nice and red. Mm. Nice and salty, and a little bit of crisp on the outside. Very well cooked. So our sister Casey got the fried fish with these little fried uh, potato thingy majiggies. I better get a knife. I think they called them uh, stick fries. Man. I'll put it up on the screen. Figure that out. I can't remember. Here's their tartar sauce. Nice. Here we go. Nice. Mmm. Wow. Really, really good fried fish. Mm. Let's try these potatoes. Just gonna cut them in half because it is Casey's meal that I'm uh, busting into here. <laughs> I already ate one. Oh my god. Yum. Really good. They drizzle them with garlic butter. Mm. All right, for my actual meal, I got the small strip steak. They're known for their steak and seafood here. So I'm gonna cut into this. I asked for it to be medium. Oh, looks like a pretty good medium, maybe medium well, but that's okay. As long as it's not super bloody, I'm happy with it. I don't know what this uh, oil is here. Maybe like a garlic oil, I'm not quite sure. Let's give it a go. Did you wanna try my french fry? Mm. I got garlic on them. Wait, mom's It's out. medium warm, it's not real hot. So maybe my steak was sitting back there. I don't taste any. Nope. I don't taste any seasoning on it. Hmm. I'm gonna have to put some salt and pepper on it. I see a little All right, let's go ahead and try the potato. Hmm. Yeah, I taste no seasoning on that steak, but maybe I just put oil on it. I don't know, but it needs salt and pepper. Try this fish. Yeah. The potato has good seasoning. Yeah. It's very cheesy. Um, let me try maybe closer to the middle of the steak. All right, let's try this here. <laughs> More on the on the middle of it, it is a true medium. Yeah. So let's see if this has seasoning on it. Barely. Okay. Maybe a light sprinkle of salt. Um, and it came to my table. The potato's very hot. The steak is lukewarm. Mm. So it's not very warm. I don't know. It's, it's okay. So I ordered the blackened Cajun uh, platter. Um, it comes with little filet med medallions and chicken and shrimp. And I ordered, I opted in for the rice pilaf and our waitress told me that a lot of people just move some space over and they throw that in all of that <laughs> mm -hmm. au jus, which sounds, yeah. sounds very good. For sure. Yeah. So I'm going to start with one of my medallions here. Oh, it cuts nice. Yeah. I didn't salt or pepper anything. I'm just going to eat it the way it came. Okay. Mm. That was a big bite. So it's spicy, but it also has like a sweetness to it. I want to say that she said it had honey or something on it, mm -hmm. and it does. So that is a very nice mix between the two flavors. Okay. So this is the shrimp. It's good. Um, same seasoning, so obviously it's going to be. Real Your similar. chicken looks amazing. Mm-hmm. I'm just kind of putting it around in that little. Just like just a little bit. Yeah, it is. Okay, my chicken is perfectly cooked. It's tender, not dry at all. Um, overall, it is a very, very good dish. Very good dish. My rice pilaf. I'm gonna be honest, I never order rice with any of my dishes. I'm a potato person because I'm from Ohio, obviously. So um, it's very good. It's very buttery, uh, very moist. Uh, moist. I'm gonna use that word moist. 
um, that is good, and I can understand why people would want to put that in that seasoning because that seasoning is really, really good. All right, the rice is amazing. Oh, yeah, That's I good. wish I knew how to cook rice like that. That is perfectly cooked rice. It. Yeah, so that was very good. My whole dish is very good. This is their baklava cheesecake made in house. They also make their baklava in house as well. good. It's another thing that's oddly temperatured, like my steak was not very warm, and this is not cold. Okay. I just thought that, you know, these cheesecake would be cool, but that's okay. It's still, it feels a little bit chilled. I'm going to try another bite here. It's beautifully decorated. Mm. It's good. Well, I have to say, the only part about this cheesecake it, that has the baklava flavor is just the crumbled topping on top. Otherwise, it's just a plain cheesecake. Oh, okay. It's pretty good. It is beautifully decorated on the on the plate. It's really, really pretty cheesecake. Yeah. It's New York style. We're, I think, very spoiled by our mother's cheesecake, which is incredibly tangy and and creamy, and thick. creamy and yeah. So, yeah, it's a, it's a nice dessert. We wanted the pineapple dessert, their yeah. famous pineapple dessert, but they don't have any tonight. We just finished our meal at Sparta Steakhouse, uh, downtown Canton, Ohio. And um, we were going to summarize what we thought of the meal itself. I had the Cajun platter, and the food was really, really delicious. Very good. Well cooked. I uh, had a little filet med uh, medallions, and they were perfectly cooked. My only issue is, if you have a really great steakhouse, and you're very famous for your steak, and your potato, and your butter, and all that good stuff, you should have a homemade salad dressing. They only have one homemade salad dressing. Kind of like a Greek dressing. A Greek dressing, and, and it was good. It was very good, but the thing is, when I ordered my salad, it was a store-bought ranch, and so it had the little bit of sourness to it. Not very good. Um, that that's a big issue for me I know that sounds silly but it, it really costs it's pennies on the dollar to make a salad dressing and it's one of those things that you can do for your restaurant that just elevates your restaurant to a whole new level and I'm not talking about a ten dollar a plate person place I'm talking about a thirty dollar a plate place yeah it's hard to say and not to sound sexist but I think when men go to steakhouses they want the steak when yeah. women go to steakhouses they want the good steakhouse salad side dishes and they want the side dishes like today they only make baked potatoes on certain days so we weren't able to get a baked potato um, and then my steak I got a New York strip I thought that would be a pricier cut it just came out lukewarm and I didn't want to send it back to be microwaved because I just kind of love it elevates the temperature and then you're going to ruin that medium temperature so, and then I just felt like there was no seasoning on it. Like, maybe a little tiny... Yours was plain and it was tough. ...sprinkle of salt. Yeah. I don't know. Like, you got to season the steak. you got to put some salt and pepper yeah. on there. Um, or even garlic powder. Whatever it is you want to season it with. But I felt like there was no seasoning on it. Yeah. Um, and this is what this place is known for, a steak. So, I was so hyped up for the, a really good steak. And then, for some reason, my whole plate was sitting in a, in a little body of oil. Oh. And then mom's Brussels sprouts were sitting in a body yeah. of oil. There was a lot of oil on everything. And the cheese. The it would be a great keto place. If yeah. you wanted to go for a keto diet, that's, that's the place. Yeah, it's all a about healthy fat. A lot of oil everywhere. On the flip side of that, the fish dishes were fantastic. Especially really, really good. The fried fish. Wow. Fried fish was amazing. Kelly's the, wings. Uh, the wings were so crispy. Phenomenal wings. Uh, and they, they, you could tap them and you could hear the crispiness of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, those were really, really good. The uh, twice baked potato, I think they call it baked twice or something like that, was really good. It was Your seasoned. dish was good. The Medi Mediterranean platter. The rice. Yeah. The rice was, I never order rice. The rice was the rice really was good. Really so good. that's our little summary for you. And the um, service was impeccable. Oh, 
Everybody, even like the guys, um, I don't even know what you would call them, maybe a busser or maybe yeah. an assistant to the uh, waitress, yeah. but they came out and they were helping take care of everybody too. Yeah. So uh, everybody chipped in to help out in that restaurant. Nobody yeah. was like, that's your table, you handle it. Yeah. They all worked as a group effort. You could tell that it was uh, very family oriented, very family owned. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, they put a lot of love and pride and care into it, and it has this cool old 50s, 60s vibe. Like, mm -hmm. you would just think that Frank Sinatra was going to waltz in there. And I think at one point they said a lot of the celebrities that used to visit would eat at the Sparta. And so that's very cool because it's a little piece of history, and it, it has survived. It's survived so many things, and that's what our channel is about, is trying to promote um, family-owned businesses in the Stark County. and area and a little beyond um and we're trying to to help out people and and keep them up and keep them going all right all right guys if you have any more suggestions in the uh, stark county area canton north canton anywhere uh around us uh even if it's a small drive we're willing to do it so mm -hmm. leave a suggestion in the uh box below yeah have, have a good one we'll see you in the next video okay thanks. Mm -hmm.